Hello champs and welcome back to the workshop. Patch here and I've just jumped on the bandwagon and got myself one of these Chinese shoe patching leather sewing machines. So I thought I'd put together a few little videos to help you guys get up and running if you too have got one of these little beasts. The first thing you're going to want to do is build yourself a stand. I've just got a piece of wood here. It's just a plank that is about yeah, it's like 15 centimeters. That's about 6 inches by about 12 or 30 centimeters and then a three by three block under there just holding it all up and behind we have it screwed down into the block with two screws and some washers there just to hold it all in place and some screws going up from underneath into that big block of wood also put on some foam underneath it you can just about see that just to stop it from sliding around and that works really well the reason you're going to want to do that is because this is the stand that it came with. And I mean, I can't weld, but man, I can weld better than that. These things are awful, and I don't think anyone really ever uses the stand that it came with. It came with legs that's attached to that, and yeah, just, just no. None of that. So you're going to want to build yourself a stand. The next thing you're going to want to do is to sand it down or get a file and take off some of the sharp edges because there's a lot of sharp edges on this. A lot of the metal is unfinished especially around this area. You want to take some sandpaper or a file, make sure that screw there is nice and flush. When mine arrived, it wasn't quite. I had to sand and file that down. You just want this to be nice and smooth and the edges and corners to be nice and smooth as well. You don't want to be catching leather or anything on there. So yeah, anywhere that your either your leather is going to go or your hands are going to go. So the edge of this wheel was quite sharp. So take a file and or some high grit sandpaper. I've got some 400 here, which is probably a bit overkill and sand down the edges because that will save you from cutting yourself. The next thing you're going to want to do is give it a clean down. Get an old rag that you don't care about because it is going to get gross. This thing, when that comes, it is covered in oil and it's, it's like dirty oil. So give it a good old clean down. Try and get in everywhere. Mine was also covered in little chibbles of styrofoam that I had to pick out from every place in it. So these are the three things that you're going to want to do. When you first get your leather sewing shoe patching machine is build it a stand give it a sand and then give it a clean those are the first three things you're going to want to do when you get your leather sewing machine i'm going to do a bunch more videos on the specifics threading bobbins all that kind of stuff so subscribe to see them and catch you guys next time thank you very much